Hello everyone, today's webinar is on Find My Phone Apps and Services for Apple and Android Smartphone Devices. The topics that will be discussed in this presentation are uh, what is the purpose of these Find My Phone services and how do they work, uh, the Find My App for uh, iPhone, for iOS devices, Find My Device app for Android devices, and additional tips to keep your devices safe. What is the purpose of Find My Phone services? Find My Phone apps and websites can be used to locate a missing or stolen device. You can sign in with your Apple ID or Google account on another device, such as a computer or tablet, and be able to locate where your phone is if you ever get it missing. For the apps to be able to locate the missing phone, the app must be enabled and the device must be powered on and connected to cellular data or Wi-Fi. The Find My app on iOS devices. The Find My app, also known as the Find My Phone app, is automatically installed on your Apple devices. If you did somehow delete it by accident, you can also find it again in the App Store and just re-download it. The Find My app allows you to share your location with specific people such as friends or family, so that they can track your phone whenever your location is turned on. You should only share your location with people you trust, such as close family and friends. This feature is also useful as an additional safety measure. You can also go to the iCloud website to be able to track your lost device. You can have your phone play a sound, erase, the, um, erase what's on your phone, or activate loss mode by locking the phone so that others cannot access your personal info. You can also view the battery percentage of your device from iCloud website. Find My app also involves family sharing. You can set it up in settings, and when your Find My app is enabled, all of the people under the family sharing group can see each other's phone location. If you click on your name, it is under the Find My option. It is very helpful for when someone in the house misplaces their device. You can always adjust the location settings, and adjust who can see your location. How to enable the Find My app onto your iPhone. First, go to settings. Tap your name at the bottom of the screen. You may already see Find My. Toggle on both Find My iPhone and Send Last Location. If you don't see Find My, tap iCloud, then scroll to the bottom until you see it, then follow step three. To locate your phone, if you ever lose it, you can go to www.icloud.com and sign in with your Apple ID and password. Once you are signed in, click on the Find iPhone icon. You may need to input your password again. It will then locate your device or devices and show you a map pinpointing their location if they are online. The pros and cons of the Apple Find My app. Pros are that Apple, the, the app comes already installed. It allows for family sharing. It allows you to send your location to specific people, and it allows you to lock, erase, or disable your device. The cons are that it requires an Apple ID to use. In other words, you need to have an iOS phone. Um, giving people access to your location can be risky, so make sure that it's only people that you trust. And it also requires your phone to be on and to be connected to Wi-Fi or data in order for it to work. Now the Find My Device app for Android devices. It can be installed from the Google Play Store for free. Once you are logged into the app on your laptop, it provides many different functions such as having your phone play a sound, even if it's on silent mode, allowing you to see the Wi-Fi that the device is connected to and the battery percentage allowing you to lock and sign out of your Google account on your device. And you can erase all of your content from your device in a worst case scenario situation um, in which you would not want whoever has stolen it to see what is on your phone. So a step-by-step -step of how to install and use this app, go to the Google Play Store and download the Find My Device app, which should look like this. Next, open the app and sign in with your Google account. Now you can track your device by going to the Find My Device website by clicking this link here. 
and logging in with your, uh, your Google account. Pros and cons of the Android Find My Device app. The pros is that it allows you to display messages on your device, such as where to return it, uh, in the case of it being lost and someone picking it up. It also allows you to lock, erase, or disable your device. The cons are that uh, the app needs to be downloaded. It is not already automatically on your phone, as opposed to the Find My app for iPhones. It also requires that you have a Google account and the device needs to be turned on and connected to Wi-Fi or data in order to locate it. If you have a Samsung, you can go into your phone settings under biometrics and security and click on find my mobile. You need to log into your Samsung account to turn on the feature before it is lost. To locate it, go to findmymobile.samsung.com and log in. You could also get additional features such as locking your phone so that thieves cannot disable it or turn it off. And the pros and cons of the Samsung Find My Mobile feature. The pros are that it allows you to stop people from turning the phone off so that you aren't able to track it. It allows you to remotely back up data and it comes pre-downloaded on Samsung devices. The cons is that it does uh, require a Samsung account, um, AKA you need to have a Samsung phone and the device needs to be connected to Wi-Fi or data and turned on in order to, to locate it. Here are some additional tips for keeping your devices safe. For the most part, try to keep your device's ringer on rather than keeping it on silent mode. This way, if you lose it in your house, you can simply call it with another phone and hear it ringing. Do not leave your device in your car, at a restaurant table, or anywhere else where it may get stolen. Keep your phone in a safe place when out and about, such as a zip-up pocket. Do not keep it in your hand unless you are using it or in a pants pocket where it can be easily, easily taken. Make sure to regularly back up your phone data. Consider setting up a Find My Phone app like the ones that we've discussed before your phone gets lost or stolen. Alternatively, you could use a tracker device like Tile to be able to locate your phone. And we do have past webinars on Tile and other uh, tracker devices if you're interested in learning more about that. Live demo. So I will be demonstrating how to find your phone using the Find My app on Apple devices. So first you go to iCloud.com and so it'll ask you to sign in with your Apple ID and password so you can do that. Then you will see a screen like this. So you simply go to the find iPhone icon. You need to sign in again. Then you'll be able to see all of your devices over here. And if you click on one of them, you will be able to play a sound, activate loss mode, or erase your phone. 